Okay, let's do a update on the coronavirus. Trevor Walsh, you're on with Talks with Trevor, my vlog channel. Uh, as of today, which I believe is February 12th, don't take my word on it, but I think that's the date. I never know what day it is. Um, this is just going to be a short video, uh, but yeah, the stuff's getting real, like I've been saying. Um, it's not something to ignore. Um, as of today, um, it's approaching 50,000 people infected now. It's in 30 plus countries all over the world. It is not contained at all, and I don't think it can be anymore. And the fatality rate is now above pretty much any disease that has hit our world since 1960. As far as the time it's been out and the amount of people that have died. In other words, yes, the flu has killed more people. But come on, turn on your brains, do some critical thinking. The flu's been around for more than a couple months. This is only like two months old. The fatality rate, you ready for this? Is like 1,100 people. And the actual numbers they think are, are, are infected are probably 100 to 150,000 people in a couple months. And the R0 number, the rep uh, reproduction number, is anywhere from two and a half to four, meaning that every person that is infected will infect two and a half to four other people. And those people will infect that many people. And those people will infect that many people. Do the exponential math. If you simply did it by threes, three people affect three, you have nine, then you have 27, 81, 243, 729, 2187, on and on and on. It doesn't take long to hit the billion dollar mark. Well, not billion dollar, but billion, billion population mark is what I meant. Just staggering, staggering that anyone would not be serious about looking at this as something to be careful about. Now, what should we be doing? Washing your hands. Keeping your hands clean when you're out in public places. Maybe using a face mask. All that kind of stuff. But wash your hands. Now, here's the other kicker. Man, I just, it just, it blows my mind. In China, you know what they're doing now to try to contain it? They are paying people. <coughs> they're paying people to squeal on their neighbors. So if you are in China and you know someone that you think might have it, whether they have it or not, they'll pay you to squeal on them, to narc them out. And then they show up and by force, they'll take you into custody. If you don't believe how crazy this is looking, go look, go on YouTube and look at the live, live reporting in China by news anchors that got into the country, some legally, some illegally that are showing kids being hucked into steel boxes and then slammed shuts. Parents slammed into cages. People in, being thrown into quarantine areas. It is literally like it's out of a Hollywood horror movie. Everything we've ever seen in the movies like 12 Monkeys with Brad Pitt and Bruce Willis or Outbreak with Dustin Hoffman or uh, Contagion or any of those movies um, the stuff's real man that stuff is really happening just go look it up go look and watch it if you don't believe me go look if you really don't believe me I'll pay for your airfare to fly you over there to see it firsthand. I mean the way the Chinese are dealing with this epidemic is staggering to see. Now, is it right or wrong? I don't know. That's a philosophical and ethical decision for another day, another 
vlog. But right now I'm just saying that other countries like United States and many countries all over the world are banning people coming in from uh, Wuhan and, and China and everything and taking precautions and doing quarantines and everything. Um, and we got a little criticism from China. But you know what? The World Health Organization said, hey, China, get your act together. Don't be, don't be talking crap about all these other nations like United States that are trying to save their people. How about you focus on your country where there's hundreds and hundreds of people dying and tens of thousands of people being infected and it is not contained before you start ragging and criticizing how the United States and other countries are not allowing people into their country so easily. I'm sorry, but we have to make decisions to keep the, our country safe. Same with Canada, same with um, Germany, France, I mean, on and on and on. Japan, you name it. Any smart, intelligent country is taking precautions. First reason, China isn't honest. United States offered them help. We offered them scientists. We offered them military intervention to help them with all of this. They said, nope, we don't want any help. You know why? Because they're trying to save face. They don't want the world to see what they've done and what is going on and the atrocities that are happening to their people. The way they're rounding them up, throwing them into cages, everything like that. So yeah, this is real. Like 1,100 people dead so far, give or take some. Numbers vary between different sources, but the point is, it's around there, give or take some. And um, like 45,000 people infected. That's a number that's so-called released. Uh, but the most think tanks and most scientists believe the number is probably anywhere from 100 to 200,000 people infected. The reason being is if you were in China and you knew you were going to get arrested and, and thrown into a cage and separated from your family and probably die in a cage or something like that, are you going to go out and voluntarily turn yourself into the Chinese Chinese government? Heck no! So yeah, man, the stuff is getting real. So, peace out.